guys welcome back to the southern rustic so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for a chicken adobo it is nice and cool outside the sun is shining we just got that warm cool breeze coming through and i just found it perfect to make this for dinner today so let's go over the ingredients and let's get right into this guys okay guys the ingredients to this are very simple it's very easy to make just a few ingredients but it packs a flavor punch you are going to love it first off you're going to need a pound of chicken now i've got chicken legs here this is what we prefer when we make this it's just better in our opinion but you can use breast or thighs whichever new one you want you're going to need a half of a cup of plain white vinegar you're going to need one cup of water but you're going to need it separated four cloves of garlic minced, half a cup of flour, three quarters of a cup of soy sauce. This is just plain soy sauce. You can use low sodium if you want, um, just as long as it's uh, plain soy sauce. You're also going to need parsley. Now the recipe calls for a quarter cup of fresh parsley, but I'm going to use dry. Um, so I'm gonna need about two tablespoons of that and you're going to need red pepper flakes. You can do this according to your heat preference. Two cups of chicken broth, the juice of one lemon, and two bay leaves. And that's it guys, let's get right on to the recipe. Okay guys, first things first, we are going to marinate our chicken. Now this calls to marinate for two hours. You can get by with one hour. Um, personally, I like to do this for one, uh, two hours. So what you're going to do is you're going to add in your water. Your vinegar. Soy sauce. brown sugar and your garlic now when it comes to red pepper flakes you can do it according to how spicy you want it we can handle a bit of heat around here, so I'm going to do about, about a tablespoon. Just to add that right in. And just give this a mix. Now you can also add this into a bag and let this marinate. But since I'm going to do it in a bowl, I'm just going to come in here in about an hour and just give it a toss so that way it marinates evenly. And pop a lid on and you're going to let this marinate in the refrigerator for two hours. Alright guys, it's been two hours and what you're going to do now is you're going to add all of your chicken into a large pot let's see if we can get these in there you're going to also add your marinade Now you don't have to worry about adding the marinade because it's going to cook off for about an hour so you definitely don't not going to worry about that. You're going to add in your chicken stock. Your lemon juice. And 
your two bay leaves. Just give this a little stir just to get the ingredients mixed together. Now you're going to bring this up to a boil and you're going to let it boil for about five minutes. Then you're going to turn the heat down to low, cover it up, let it cook for one hour. Also, don't forget to add your parsley. You're going to need about two tablespoons of dried parsley. Just kind of give them a little crush when you add it in there. I help release some of the flavors. Give that another stir. Okay guys, it has been an hour. So, what we are going to do is we're going to take out the bay leaf. We can just discard that. Take out the chicken. Be very careful because it is very, very tender. Okay guys, this is just the half a cup of flour and half a cup of water that we had left over. You're just going to pour this in while stirring and it's going to thicken up the broth. Now you're going to let this cook for 15 minutes just to take out the flour taste of the flour. And I'll meet you right back here when it's all done. Okay guys, now after 10 to 15 minutes you're going to put your chicken back in the pot. And you're going to let it cook for 5 minutes and then you're done. Now all we got to do is just plate it up and do a taste test. Okay you guys. I've got it plated up right here and it looks so good. I just paired it with rice and some green beans. Um, you can pair it however you want. But let's just take a bite. It is so tender. Mm. That meat is so tender and so flavorful. It is absolutely delicious and it's just perfect for a cool fall night like tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that little red subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.